Welcome to Chapter by Chapter. This is Episode 3 from 1 Corinthians. The natural man doesn't know God. The spiritual man knows God. But the carnal man, though he knows God, lives as if he doesn't. He possesses the Spirit, but he's not allowed the Spirit to color his perspective. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Paul rebukes the Corinthians for remaining spiritual infants. It may be cute to see a baby with a bottle, but it's disgusting to see a grown man eating Gerber's. It's time the carnal Christian grew up. Next, Paul shows the folly of following men. In Corinth, Paul planted and Apollos watered. From the book of Acts, we learn that in Ephesus, the roles were reversed. But in both cases, God produced the results. Both the sewer and the spigot are but implements in the hands of God. Why exalt one above the other when both are dependent on God? The superstructure of a successful spiritual life is erected on the foundation, Jesus Christ. Each of us is building on that foundation, but we need to give thought to how we build. Our reward as believers will be based not on the quantity or quality of our service, but on our motivation. Self-centered service will be burned up. The saint will be saved, but his service singed. What you did to be seen of men will never be acknowledged by God. God will reward what was done in sincerity, from a thankful heart, for the glory of God, and in an attitude of faith. Such service, when tested, is found to be purest gold. If you're enjoying chapter by chapter, we hope you'll make a comment below. Thanks for listening.